Okay, we're going to cut across to the live images right now of uh, Narsingh Yadav who has in fact arrived for the hearing at NADA and this amid chants from a large number of his supporters. Let's quickly just listen into what the supporters are saying. Of course, there's a media scrum there. Narsingh Yadav literally will have his fate decided as far as the Olympics are concerned. Let's quickly just listen into what his supporters were saying. All right, uh, so uh, a lot of support there for nursing. Uh, he did get a longer contingent with him as he appears before the NADA committee. We've got Borea Majumdar live with us now. Borea, two tests, both of them have come back positive for this banned drug. What really are the options? How bright really is this sliver of hope for nursing Yadav? <laughs> First thing, Padmaja, this second test coming positive is no big thing. You have to understand that the first test was conducted on June 25th and the second test was conducted on July 5th. If the substance has entered his body on account of sabotage or what else, it will remain in his body at least for two weeks, three weeks, a month. That is only natural. So nursing's lawyers will say the very same thing as they would have said two hours back four hours back yesterday, the day before. That is, this is an act of sabotage or, quote unquote, inadvertent negligence. Mm. If they can prove inadvertent negligence or sabotage, according to WADA Clause 10.5.1, they can get away with a reprimand. Vidush Singhania, his lawyer, and I can tell you this, Vidush will not say that nursing is not at fault. Vidush will agree that nursing is at fault, but he will say it was inadvertent negligence or it was sabotage, which should not be back. Whether it's a one year, two year, or a four year ban, and he should be let off with a reprimand and allowed to participate in view. That is the exact line of argument that Vidush Singhania will be taking just moments from now in that NADA hearing. All right, uh, Borya, I think there is a slight problem that we have uh, in that connection we've established with you. Uh, there's some audio disturbance. We'll try and get back to you in just a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, these are the images that you're seeing of uh, Nursing Yadav arriving at the NADA office just a while ago. Let's quickly again listen in to the kind of reception we have got there. Okay, Shivani Gupta is also now uh, joining us on this broadcast. A fair amount of support, but like Borea was saying, the second report, the second test report coming back positive is not really a huge surprise. Nonetheless, it is going to be tough going for Narsingh Yadav as of now. What are your sources telling you, Shivani? That's right. It remains tough for Narsingh Yadav. It remains as tough as it was before the second dope test result came out in public domain. Uh, because uh, what he's fighting his case on is on sabotage. That's the only theory that his uh, contingent, uh, his uh, candidature for Rio Olympics depends on. He's not denying that the dope tests are wrong. What he's saying is that his food has been tampered with. Uh, there are evi uh, circumstantial evidence of uh, threats on Narsingh while he was, he was at the social Sai Center. Uh, there are uh, witnesses like the cook and other wrestlers in the camp who have uh, come and said that there was a suspicious person who was hanging around. Uh, a powder allegedly was thrown into the food in the mess. Uh, but all of this has to be proven uh, and that remains the big uphill task for Narsingh Yadav. Uh, he has not so far got hold of any CCTV footage mm. that can prove that uh, a tam uh, that he uh, ate tampered food before June 25th, which was the first test out of the two tests. Uh, so it remains really, really difficult for him uh, because the NADA panel will have to go by international rules. They will also perhaps have to test whether the substance is still in his body because mm. it is very, very 
very likely that any athlete who's going to Rio will be tested before the event as well. And they wouldn't want to take a risk that Narsing tests positive again when he's in Rio and comes back after uh, uh, and is sent back. That would be even more disastrous for India. Absolutely. At the same time, there are still back and forth, uh, you know, comments being traded between the sports minister and the Wrestling Federation of India who are not in agreement whether the replacement name for Narsing, Praveen Rana, can in fact go. As it stands, under the rule book, the last date for a replacement was July 18th. Under exceptional circumstances, another candidate can be named. But I doubt whether doping, uh, a candidate found doping, is going to be those exceptional circumstances. Uh, there is no reason for WADA to allow a late replacement in that case. It is allowed in ext uh, extraginous situations when an athlete has a medical situation or other untoward incident. Uh, so on both counts, Really, really nervy moments for uh, India, uh, nursing for this hearing, uh, his future depends on this. But also for India, there is still little clarity if Praveen Rana as a replacement can go if nursing is not cleared, Padmajaya. And Borio, help me understand, the entire defense of nursing rests on this sabotage theory. Why should the NADA believe him? What's the material evidence? That's the question. I mean, you know, I, I've spoken to Vidush Singhania several times over the last two days trying to understand how will he plead his defense. And that's his argument. His argument is nursing Yadav in 15 years. I'm telling you what he will argue because, you know, this, this is basically what, uh, what his plan of defense is. They will argue 15 years, not one blemish. They will argue several international testings, no problem. Senior wrestler, why should he take dope? Uh, also, anabolic steroid, hardly anybody takes anabolic steroid, mm. not much material difference to his body or his life. Finally, they will say that, you know, they, they, they are trying to file an FIR. They will argue that they went to file an FIR. They will argue that the cook has identified all the points that Shivani mentioned. JW, his sponsors were trying their desperate best over the last 48 hours to establish CCTV footage. So they will make their case. It is a difficult one to make, which is why I've been saying for the last three days on India Today, it is a 2% chance. 98 against 2 in favor of nursing is 2%, maximum 5%. Hmm. Only one thing, what Shivani was talking about, the replacement, the sports uh, uh, you know, authority of India, Director General, just now messaged me that the Wrestling Federation has intimated Sai that the International Olympic Committee may have accepted Parveen Rana's name as replacement. If that is true, then at least they have saved the quota. Hmm. But there also remains the question that is Parveen Rana the right guy to be sent? Hmm. Why not Sushil Kumar? Hmm. Is it an ego question between Bridge Bhushan hmm. and Sushil Kumar? Perhaps hmm. yes. Hmm. Are you sacrificing an Indian medal? Hmm. You know, Padmaja, the fact of the matter is this one has so many twists and turns that it is it is Perhaps the, the makers of Sultan should now actually use the nursing saga for a bigger blockbuster. No, Bore, you're absolutely right because when you say if it's a matter of ego, it actually is. Yesterday when we were speaking to the WFI president, and I want to get in Shivani on this, he made it quite clear he almost stopped short of saying that so what if Sushil Kumar has won two medals, he's done no one a favor. He's brought back these medals, so why should the country be forced to send him as a replacement for nursing? What happens next, Shivani? Because people are not looking beyond the Olympics. Here you have the WFI going up against such a senior wrestler and it also seems to be a situation where there are literally there's two camps, at least in this particular sport. What does that do for the body and for the sport? Well, this is a disastrous, disastrous story for wrestling. Uh, a sport that uh, came into limelight uh, after 2008 and 2012 especially. This is just absolutely terrible for the sport, uh, the groupism, the campism, uh, uh, the clickism in the sport and also uh, what we are hearing now and debating for the last four days uh, that there could be sabotage by a wrestler or someone from a wrestler's camp for another wrestler who's going for a medal at Rio. So the, the one of the worst uh, stories ever uh, when it comes to in mm. Comes to Indian Olympic sports, uh, uh, the Wrestling Federation of India President Brijbhushan, what, what you mentioned, Padmaja, he might have his own view, and nobody can argue that uh, uh, just because uh, Sushil Kumar has won two medals, he's the obvious choice. But there are other reasons why Sushil Kumar should have been the second choice because uh, the government, under the top scheme, the Target Olympic Podium scheme, has spent a crore and more on Sushil Kumar's training over the last uh, uh, year or so. Mm. Uh, he was part 
of the training camp that went to Georgia. Uh, Praveen Rana hasn't received those benefits. Uh, and Sushil Kumar, of course, has pedigree. He has experience. Praveen Rana doesn't have the, uh, that experience. Uh, so if they wanted to send Praveen Rana, perhaps they could have employed a better way. Hmm. Perhaps they could have called in both wrestlers, asked them to make their case, uh, maybe even hold a last-minute trial. I doubt that would have been successful. But at least they should have had Sushil Kumar in, con in contention hmm. and maybe have Sushil refused to go because he did say that I am not training over the past month. Hmm. Uh, then rule him out on their own because that of course opens them up to the attack that uh, they are playing politics. Absolutely and now it's turned out, turned out to be so sordid because you'll have a young wrestler who will be at the Olympics, will be under tremendous pressure, a senior wrestler who is at war literally with his federation. But also is there anything Borya, that Sushil Kumar can do now if he wants to challenge uh, Praveen Rana's uh, Pra Praveen Rana being sent for the Indian quota at the Olympics? No, he can't. One, he can't, he should not. You know, for the sake of the sport of wrestling, Sushil Kumar should not. Absolutely not. Four straight questions for, for the Wrestling Federation president. Firstly, Shivani was absolutely spot on. Beautifully summed it up. Four straight questions. One. If Parveen Rana was always the second choice, what was the Wrestling Federation president doing not informing the government about it and spending public money under the top scheme on Sushil? Hmm. Two, when Sushil was training in Georgia, he should have been called back. And why did the Wrestling Federation not give Parveen Rana the benefit of foreign training by including or trying to include his name under the top scheme? What is the top scheme? It's called the Target Olympic Podium Scheme, which is meant for Olympians. Parveen Rana should have been given that benefit. Because according to these people and the trial, he lost to Narsi. Point number three, you know, uh, when Sushil Kumar was going to court, he was going to meet the president, uh, Federation president in May, June. He did have that meeting. He should have been communicated and this country told that, look, Sushil Kumar is not even in our scheme of things. It is Parveen Rana who is the second provisional replacement. Nothing of that sort was told. Finally, if Parveen Rana was the replacement, on the 16th of this month, Narsingh's test came positive. Now, the Wrestling Federation wants you and me to believe that they got to know only on the 19th. Now, no one's naive. If a wrestler fails a dope test, his federation will know three days later. Is the, is the most strange thing to believe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, they should have named Parveen Rana on the 16th or the 17th mm -hmm. or the 18th mm -hmm. and avoided all of these problems about a late replacement. So, there is a massive, massive problem with the Wrestling Federation of India, which we have to take account for. But at this point in time, Sushil Kumar has no option. Well, absolutely. And Shivani, if we just look at the other side as well, here we are talking about who goes to the Olympics. Here we are also talking about the possibility that once Praveen Rana is at Rio, we will have two senior wrestlers possibly fighting out each other, not in the wrestling ring, but inside a court or a police station because now this has reached the police. That's right. That's the sorry state of a situation right now between Narsingh and Sushil because uh, some sources are also indicating to us uh, that Narsingh will not uh, stop short of naming Sushil as one of the conspirators uh, in his official complaint uh, or in his uh, FIR if that happens or even in the complaint in the High Court. Already the wrestler who has been caught the junior wrestler who's been caught allegedly tampering with his food uh, is the younger brother of a uh, senior wrestler who trains at the Chhatrasal Stadium, the same venue where uh, Sushil Kumar trains. Uh, so proximity has been drawn. Of course, that is no proof. Hmm. But we believe that Narsingh Yadav will not stop short, especially if he cannot go to the Olympics, to turn this directly on Sushil Kumar. So we can very much foresee a very ugly battle ensuing once again between Narsingh and Sushil Sushil Kumar. Narsingh, of course, has the backing of the Federation and the President, who's also a politician. Hmm. But uh, Sushil Kumar, of course, has two, uh, two Olympic medals on his side. He has pedigree and reputation that uh, not many would be willing to challenge. So, But in the, in the overall scheme of things, this could turn out to be really, really ugly in months to come as well and uh, very demoralizing for uh, younger wrestlers. Absolutely. And which is why, hopefully, that uh, even as this uh, legal case is going to carry on, Borya, and hopefully, uh, we we have this young wrestler who's been named Nursing's replacement doing well despite all the pressure that he is under. There will at least be the government taking an overview of this entire mess and asking some serious questions of the Federation itself and hopefully cleaning up the mess in the Federation.
Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that, that is why you see in the Lodha Commission do it in the case of cricket. Someone should not just do it in the case of wrestling and all other national federations. I mean, this whole thing is a charade. It's a farce. I mean, when Parveen Rana takes the mat in Rio, and obviously we on India Today will bring everything to you from, from Rio, imagine the kind of pressure this man will be on. Mm. No one is expecting a medal. I mean, if he loses first round, every one of us will say, hey, what's happening here? This was a medal category for India. You sacrificed that. Again, this will become massive for, for, for the entire Indian country. And Shivani was spot on. If Sushil Kumar is named, I mean, everyone's innocent until proven guilty. Narasingh Yadav would be extremely naive to name Sushil Kumar without proper evidence. I mean, a twice Olympian, perhaps the, perhaps the greatest Indian wrestler ever born. I mean, you name him on the behest of suspicion without any proof would be extremely silly for the sport of wrestling because uh, Padmaja, you've got to understand Chattasal, where Sushil trains, has other wrestlers also. So you are actually not taking Sushil on, but you're taking that entire gamut of the wrestling fraternity on who are not siding with Bridge Bhushan or with the Sonipat Center or with the Narsing Yadav camp. Mm. I mean, this kind of factional politics, we have seen what has happened with Indian boxing, it's gone. It's gone and dusted post London 2012. Absolutely. Wrestling is going down the same way. Mm. Do you want to kill the sport of wrestling? And do you want politicians at the behest of Indian sports? This is the answer. You don't you don't want politicians, you don't want babus. Let's have proper sports people or professionals administer sport and get these babus and netas out of this system once and for all. Absolutely and Shivani, it's not just about this one sport. Look at the kind of sports where we had medal hopes. We've got boxing, we've got shooting, we've got weightlifting and then we've got wrestling. Already like Borea was mentioning, boxing has been messed up. Uh, we've seen some very sordid stories come out of shooting also in the recent past and now this, who is going to answer for all of this mess that has been created and more importantly what about the morale of the entire contingent as it is going to be at Rio because it's not just limited to this one sport. Well, who should be in charge of this? Uh, all of these federations and all of these uh, sports at the helm? It is the Indian Olympic Association. And Padmaja, it is no uh, secret that the Indian Olympic Association is a body in crisis. The president and the vice president do not uh, speak to each other. They do not see eye to eye. Many say it's a defunct body. There is nothing that the Indian Olympic Association is even doing. So you can uh, very well imagine why this is happening. Uh, uh, we look at uh, uh, individual federations to make a difference. Some of them have made a difference uh, even in wrestling and boxing. You can say that they've been given good training. The ministry has helped, SAI has helped, the ministry disbursed crores of rupees in, in preparation for the Rio Olympics mm. uh, to help athletes and that is a first where you know everything is on paper just how much money every athlete who was a medal hopeful got. But uh, there is no question that the Indian Olympic Association also has to take the blame. Ultimately, they are the body. They claim they are auto autonomous. They don't want government intervention. They want to run things on their own. Mm. And yet, they, do, they cannot handle uh, these sports and they cannot handle these federations. They are no, not accountable, accountable to anybody. The federation is not accountable to anybody. But the only thing that they are scared of is when the International Federation bans them or suspends them, like it happened in the case of boxing. Mm. But that sets you back so much that uh, you know the athletes uh, all the progress that you've made is lost it's it is said in Indian sport that Indian athletes do well despite the system and yes. not because of the system hopefully Ab the scene is changing perhaps a little bit for some athletes but these are examples that go into the hall of shame really of Indian sport absolutely and we have people like Abhinav Bindra speaking out against the system uh, saying that Indian athletes like Shivani said are doing well despite the system what a shame of course uh, that hearing at NADA is still going on we'll get you the very latest for now Borya and Shivani thank you very much for joining us heading into a quick break on the other side we talk about the sham that is elections in